four years now since 15 year old Kyla Parks was murdered for the first time. The Greene County detective who worked her case and Kyla Parks's family talking about the death. Reporter Stephanie Garland sat down with them today. She joins us live in front of the Greene County Courthouse. Stephanie, how are they coping? Jerry, we sat down with both Detective Judy Walker inside the courthouse and the family today, and they are both managing. Now, the family says they've even started a tradition to help them cope. They started it at the first Thanksgiving. It's where every child fills up Kyla's plate, and then they leave a place for her at the end of the table. This here is Kyla's plate that she ate from when she was alive and with us. It's been almost four years since 15-year-old Kyla Parks was killed. Her family says she is never far from their thoughts. It's a symbol of even though she's no longer here, she's still very much a part of this family. You know, life has changed, you go on, you grow older, but she will always be in our hearts 15. This is the man convicted of her murder. The detective who worked the case says Anthony Belberni never admitted to killing Kyla. Not to me, no. I felt like that he was somebody that needed to be off the streets for public safety, for other people's protection also. She says the hardest part of her job came after they found Kyla's body. Having to tell the family, you know, because I kept encouraging them to remain hopeful. She kept saying, we'll find her, we'll find her. And you know, we did find her. It was a hard way to find her. She was a mother, and the compassion in her eyes and the caring um, with her questions, she was so careful how she worded things. Detective Walker says investigators from multiple counties spent hundreds of hours finding what happened to Kyla, and ultimately, her killer. To my knowledge, uh, everyone that was involved has had repercussions from this. Slowly by slowly, we, we're making our path, and I think once the sentencing comes, you know, I hope and I pray that the judge gives him the maximum all the way around. The Parks family is Christian. This is their life. prayer. It's our solemn prayer and hope that he never gets out of prison to hurt anybody else's children. They say they think Kyla would be pleased with how Detective Walker and other investigators found her killer. And if anything, I think Kyla would be proud to know that she was involved in stopping him. Yeah. While we were at Kyla's home today, her siblings were sorting through her things. It appeared for the first time, and they were finding a lot of different things, like from a scrapbook and lots of her early schoolwork. It appears that they are healing. Jerry. Stephanie, thank you. Anthony Balberni will be sentenced in September. We'll continue to follow this case.